it, uh, that's when I heard about Jackie, but I kept harassing the government, and, you know, and every time I'd get an answer back that would say, uh, from the people in charge there at the recruiting place, that, oh, women will never be able to fly our military aircraft. And then I heard about Jackie sending these women to England. And uh, I said, well, they don't want me here. She'd already taken over 16. And I signed up with her to take the next badge. And during that little time of just weeks, Nancy contacted me about the WAFs, too. And I said, oh, I've already told Nancy I was going to take the job in England. And uh, I was delighted to, I wasn't delighted to think I had turned down Nancy, but uh, I, um, kept on with, Na with uh, Jackie, and two weeks before I was to go to England on the second batch, she called me and said, get up to my New York apartment, I've got news for you. I got up there and she said, uh, I, have, I guess we've harassed them enough, <laughs> because she said, I have just had authorization to take 25 women to Houston, Texas to start the Women's Air Force Service Pilots. But I've got to tell you, you not only need lots of hours, but you need lots of stamina. Then she shoved a letter at me. She said, this letter was, I'm not supposed to have. And I don't, at the, to this day, I don't know how many of our W1 girls saw this letter. But it was from the command, from the Air Force to the commanding officer who would be in charge of this first 25. And it said, we have been told we must give these women an opportunity to fly. We know they will never be able to fly military aircraft. Get rid of them as soon as possible. I guess we thought we could beat the odds. And maybe not, maybe they, a lot of them hadn't seen this letter. The fact that I had seen it in Jackie's home, I knew what we were up against. And did that make you more determined? I think so. I think so. I had lots of hours, and I was an egotist. I guess all the rest of us must have been egotists. <laughs> when you met Jacqueline uh, and she showed you the letter, was that the first time you had Oh, no. Her? See, I had signed up to go to England with her second group, mm -hmm. so I knew her well by that time. And uh, When so was the first time you met her? Well, let's see. I guess when I had heard from someplace at the airport where I was working that she was, had, take, had taken some girls, and that's when I called her. Where did you meet Nancy Love? Um, let's see now. Nancy called me when she was recruiting the WAFs. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't, I can't remember... If I, I didn't meet with her, I just talked okay. to her on the phone at that okay. time. Okay. At that time, yes. By the time you started to Houston, uh, how many hours approximately did you already have? I had over 2,000. 